Hi, Omega Chaos again, with another episode of Try Omega Chaos Season 3. And this time I am drawing my Sephira deck, or Sephira, which uh, pretty much combines uh, all the uh, archetypes from the yeah, from the shuttles and uh, yeah, from the recent uh, yeah Twilight Terminal story storyline, I guess. Except of course Giffords and uh, Infernoids because they are kind of uh, the enemies of uh, this archetype. So yeah, it's of course pendulum based and it pretty much combines also the older mechanics of course because yeah, Shuttles are of course fusion based, uh, Young Sync synchro based, uh, Necros ritual based and all that. But my hand is not that great, fortunately. Hmm. So I'm not sure what should do. I guess I will just pass for now. Uh, there are many different ways uh, for playing this deck. Uh, you can either focus around uh, a certain archetype and then put Zephras in there. Uh, or you can pretty much try to combine everything like uh, I pretty much uh, I'm trying to do. I'm uh, not sure what uh, ap approach is better, but uh, I think it's more fun to, of course, combine all the different mechanics because that's uh, yeah what I like pretty much. Hmm. I guess we'll set the pendulum scale. Individually, I do hate a lot of uh, uh, individual archetypes uh, like uh, Shadows and Necros. Uh, I'm kinda indifferent about Stat Saturnites, they are kinda... I kinda do like them, but they are also kinda way too overpowered. They are yeah, pretty much the best rank 4 Xyz based deck. But I really do like Young Sing and... Uh, Young Sing and Ritual Beast. Right there. Uh, Sephra Fuxi and <laughs> Sephra Saber. Um, yeah, I guess not, why not for a synchro play? Mm, should I try to attack first or? Yeah, let's attack first. Let's see what that face down monster is. One has 60 cards in the deck, so yeah. Probably is not going to be very challenging, but we'll see. <laughs> that uh, pumpkin might be have become a problem, I guess. The kind of synchro summon into Yasi. I do run, of course, many young sync synchros in here. That one, like Yasi, Apoxia, and the new one. Uh, that is uh, Car Feng. And going to end my turn here. Yeah, I do run Chiat as well in here. Just an extra tuna because I do think uh, the best mechanic to use uh, um, with Pendulum summoning is Synchro summoning uh, by far because you can. You must constantly abuse, constantly re-summon them and all that because they, when you suck someone, they go back to the extra deck. The pendulum monsters, so. So that's a very nice. And I'm also on chat. Going to. Activate the effect actually. In the background. Oh, Mirror Force. Activate Shadow's effect. Getting me Sephra Kinio from the deck. Another, it's a, another young singer, uh, Sephra. And bend those one back. Uh, my Sephra Saber. Uh, the deck is is kind of complicated to play. 
you have to of course learn it in time when you are testing this, this deck but yeah it's uh, kind of hard to of course uh, make sure that everything uh, uh, fits well together <sighs> And uh, what uh, what cards to put in from the individual art types like Chateaus or Necros and Young Sings, of course. I'm not running any individual Saturnites. I could run them, but uh, I don't really have much deck space left for them, so. If then I can search out both uh, like. Uh, Saturnite uh, Sephras and uh, also of course Altar. I will probably run like three Tenab and two Altars. I will put that Saturnite engine in here as well. But unfortunately, yeah, I can't currently. Oh, Endless Decay. That's interesting. And so it but I don't. Wow! My opponent tries trying to go all in, but it's not going to work, unfortunately. <sighs> oh, Necros of Brionac. Of course, I use it to search out my uh, either Necros Sephras or my um, Ruta Masters, like I do run one Drishula. I used to run uh, Necros of Sophia because I thought it was a very good boss master for this deck. But unfortunately it didn't really work out at all. I couldn't summon it in an actual duel. Yeah, so yeah, that was uh, very unfortunate for me. Opening the Fias felt. Fias felt is really good because you can be much uh, search for a Sephra monster when it's activated. So it's like a tanky. Basically, in fiat spell form. So, my opponent just quit. So, I guess let's go to the next duel. Hopefully, the next duel will, will be more challenging for me. And I'm back. So, let's see how it goes this time. I do think this arch type has uh, potential. But some, many do think that it's a bad deck for some reason. Hmm, my hand is not exactly ideal. Just set the chat and then my turn. <laughs> Hopefully I can uh, get this video uploaded at the right time. Because I'm going to uh, locals uh, on Sunday. At this time, I'll be, I will use my normal pendulum deck in the tournament. So we'll see how uh, how actually they will work in an actual tournament. Going for Sync Summon, Goyo Guardian. And I also have the Counter Trap. Uh, which is, uh, of course, a very powerful card, basically like Sat uh, Satara Nova Alpha or Infinity Barrier. In which we just have to banish a Sephra from Rex deck. Oh, Nimble Shantvesh. Well, I don't think I want it then. But I only run two of this card because it can become a cloaky at times when you don't have. Um, a Sephra in your X deck, or and also like the key is a very precious uh, resource, so uh, you don't always want to banish a Sephra from the X deck, and it's also easily searchable if, of course, you're one of the yeah, young Sing Sephra, Sephra Kinu. And so I'm going to end my turn. I guess my opponent's playing some sort of a nimble fish deck. At least they can uh, throw brick hand sometimes. So it's not uh, super consistent or anything, but still think it's uh, very nice. 
Oh, I guess it's that fish or the Kalec. Well, not going to work out this time. Sephra, the final Sephra Salt. Finishing my Arthur Serotonite Sephra Tuban. And Regeki as well. Hmm. Okay. Wish I don't have a lower scale now, but what can I do? Just going to also on this one then, and just try to attack. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully. I can get it uploaded and rendered before I leave for a tournament. Of course I have to uh, go to the capital of Estonia by bus, so right, yeah. It's a pretty long road actually. It it's, um, takes about uh, Two and a half hours to get me there. So I'm going to get a Sephra Saber with Aprionak. But if I can't get it uh, rendered and uploaded at right, right, right time, then I will do it uh, when I come back in, uh, in the night. Well, just attack then. Let's see what it is. Nimble shot for again. And then going to end my turn. I do have the scales now at least. And also season a uh, free of this series is soon ending. Pretty much uh, only one episode left of, of this season. Now, in Kofis, I guess my plan tries to go for a rank 4 at this point. So, yeah, I hope you're looking forward to uh, season uh, 4, which will be very epic, I think. We would want with a lot of uh, new decks and a uh, lot of uh, uh, decks that have evolved uh, since then. Hmm, Chateau Fusion. Of course, I'm using this card. This is the most perfect moment. But what should go into? My guess construct is a the most, the most basic and it's really good. And get some insane advantage. No, my opponent doesn't have any backgrounds to the story of Dragon, but it really doesn't matter anyway. So that's for Sephronaga. But I do think this duel is pretty much over anyway. Summon this and this one as well. I 
I don't think I need to go for Exis on. So I'm just going to take away the Nightmare Shock. Then I'm going to. I must want Chatter. I think someone into Metaphys Horus. This is a very good level 6 synchro for any pendulum based deck. That, that of course uh, uses synchros. So give me that place. And I think it's pretty much game over. If my opponent on the top deck something crazy like Snatch Tail or I don't know, my opponent already already used up the Raigeke. Yeah, this is pretty much a massive field. And my opponent surrendered, so yeah, I won again. Well, I think we have um, at least uh, time for one more duel. So back soon again. And I'm back again. So let's see how it goes this time. Yeah, we'll go second. You always want to go second with this deck because you want as many cards as possible. Possible because, of course, you need the right scales and enough monsters and all that. Oh, it's Evols, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> Evo price doesn't seem too bad, but kind of situational. But if my opponent plays Evo, why only six cards in the stack? Like that seems completely insane to do that. Wait, Oracle of Sephra to search me out something. Uh, I think I need another high scale, so I'm gonna get Sephra Kuno because it's even one of the best Sephras because you can search out. As Sephra spells and traps with this card when you pend on someone it or when you destroy in the pendulum zone or master zone. So yeah, very powerful card. <laughs> and it's level six for synchro place and all that as well. So what now? Scale one and so on. So pendulum scale setting. Pendulum summon. All three. Sephra Kinio Sephra Saber and Sephra Fuxi Activate Kinio's effect as well as Fuxi's effect. Sephra Fuxi does go back to the deck when I use its effect, when I circle someone or when it leaves, leaves the field. Uh, of course, because then it, uh, otherwise it will be a very abuse because it will be basically infinite synchros. And but there's probably never going to be a, a pendulum tuner monsters because that, because that's, that will be extremely broken. And I don't think we want that. So I'm going to synchro summon into. <laughs> Then I can search, put something to the top of my deck, so I put that shot to the top of my deck, so. And then try to attack. Well, how is this deck boring? Like, it's so, yeah, exciting. It has so many different uh, uh, plays you can do, and it uses pretty much all the mechanics. It's very complicated as well. 
at least at first. When you learn it properly, then... Uh, oh, Tarkol, do I even care about it? Mm, no, not really. Then I can activate Sephakino's effect as well as Yas's effect, so... And of course I'm not going to change to my, to my own effect, so... Yeah... So someone shot the from the deck... And... I think I'm going to get another Fiat spell... So I can then activate it again and get another search, so... Yeah... Very nice... You actually rarely use the other effects... Which depend on the summon, the, of course, the monster uh, type, I guess, the summoning type, summoning mechanic. And my opponent just quit, so I pretty much won all my tools, although uh, my opponents weren't exactly that great. But oh well, it happens, it's the pro. There aren't really many uh, very good players on Tepro, but the uh, Entwine Network is pretty much the same as well as well as, as, well as in other uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Pro based uh, programs like Salvation and uh, of course the original Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. So uh, that is it for this uh, episode of Entwine uh, Omar Chaos Season 3. So yeah, it. The next episode of this series, or in this season, is going to be the last one, and then season 4 is going to start. So, I have a lot of things planned for season 4, so look for that. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, for now, a good buy and Omar Chaos, out!